okay, for this uh, uh, exercise we will work with um, uh, modeling uh, a pergola. Uh, the pergola is um, the measurements is given here. Uh, we start first with um, creating, uh, go to the view toolbars and view the views and we place it there. And then we start we start the modeling process by first modeling one wall and then copying it to the other side. So this method will make uh, things uh, working much faster. We we start with the first bar. We give the measurements for that, which is available, 6.4, and then we use the we align ourselves to the red axis and we give the next um, measurement which is 0.4 and then we use the inference in order to get us to the other side then we have the first wall we give the height and the height is 2.2 so we go and check what is the next step the next step would be to model this this part so we go and we know the distance uh, and then we use the offset tool and here oh, oh, we uh, use uh, offset with uh, comma uh, point 0.1 and here we uh, give it a height 1 and this as well and then the next step would be to go and model this block and the best way to do it is just to place a block somewhere and just give it a height and make it a group and here we could just uh, move it afterwards to the this side and then we could go inside this group and, and see, give it the exact height. I will use the tape measurement to do that, and the height of it is uh, 0 0.16. Uh, no, it's about 2. So this is a construction line, and then we give it the right height. We reshape it a bit in order to match the same form as shown and then we uh, we could delete this construction line and then we click outside and we move it <coughs> uh, to the middle and then we make a copy of it and the way to do it is we use the control key and we click uh, to that point and to that point and then we, it's the number is uh, six copies with a forward slash and then six copies are created we go and check what is the next and the next is to make this beam this one and we go back and we we do the same way here by creating a block somewhere and we give it a height and we make it a group so it's it will not stick to other uh, geometries and we move it here oh. and we go a bit there and we, we could go inside here and try to give it the right height we use here the tape measure tool sorry, uh, to try to find the right height and the height of this is 0 0.16 sorry, 6. so we reshape it a bit and we give it something like this and we take away the construction line we created and we try to move it to the right position and here we use the move tool we start here and we could go inside the group and give it the right distance we use the inferences to find the midpoint here and we go to the back side we also push it 
to the other end and we find it here so we get we get the right shape now we have the first wall ready we could make a, a groove out of it and we got we will make a copy to the other side and here we could see the distance to the other wall and so we go back and what we do here we use the uh, tape measure tool and create a distance of 3,84 and now we select this group we use the move tool to make a copy and control key and we line ourselves to the red axis and we place it there ready and now we need to draw the this cross beam here with this distance and with this kind of shape at the ends we go there and we make use of the views we click on the front view it's a perspective view we could go to the camera and use the parallel projection in order to get a flat view and here we start draw a beam with a distance of 5.5 and then we go down with a distance 0 comma uh, 24 and then we go there we use the inference again and then we go to one end with the tape measure tool we got give the distance here again and that is 0.25 enter and we use the arc tool to this midpoint and to that and then we delete these two lines and the construction line as well we go oh, we go to the other end here and we try to find to do the same we use the measure tape tool uh, 0.25 and the arc tool from here to there and then we did it this and the construction line so we have this if we look in a isometric view and we could switch the perspective view we see it's there but it is in the wrong place so we try to just to give it a shape here with the push pull tool and then we create a construct or well, well I call it a helpline in order to find the midpoint and here I could move this uh, I could make first I could make a block out of it let me see just try to find and this I make a group and then I go to the midpoint here and I move it to the mid midpoint there I go to the front of view and check things camera parallel projection it looks okay and now what we will do is make a copy out of it we go to the perspective view we uh, before doing a copy we go to the to the right view and just check if it is, oh, it is still not in the right place so what I do I move it I stand here and I go there to this green axis align myself there and I could just place it in the middle there and I could check it again see if it is okay yeah it looks okay isometric view camera perspective it looks fine so now I go and make the copy while it's selected I use the control key and I find the right point here and I go to the other end and find the right point there and then I type six forward slash and then the beams are created so we have here the 3d pergola we delete the construction line so we are ready for for this uh, and we go in the next uh, assignment for more uh, features